bit better once we get into it. Hey everybody, welcome to another episode of Horror Quickies. I'm your host, JW. Today we're doing Brad Twig's Death Board. Now, it's an interesting story. Well, I think it's interesting how I uh, got to review this film. I was on Facebook, and uh, like I've always told everybody in um, my previous videos, I'm looking for more... Uh, more indie type horror films to review and especially ones uh, that are self-distributed so I uh, did a Facebook post I asked who was uh, distributing and selling their own movies essentially and I got a lot of answers and I appreciate everybody for that now as I stated I pay for all the movies I review so obviously I couldn't buy them all, review them all, but uh, I did a pretty decent amount I think and Death Wars is pretty much the first one. Uh, Max Morrison aka Mad Max thank you for recommending this film and providing the link in my Facebook post. This is pretty cool because I did like uh, Wrestle Massacre, which was an earlier film by uh, Brad Twig. Loved it. So, Death Board. Basically, the story is a slasher with supernatural elements, and I liked it. Uh, Valerie buys a new house, and she invites some of her female friends over to help her get her get settled in. Unbeknownst to them, the house once belonged to serial killer Cyrus Riker. So, you know, the girls, they uh, had some liquor, talk some gossip, find a Ouija board in the basement, and decide to play with it. Which, as we all know in a horror film, it's a bad idea. So, um... So basically, as, as you know, it's a slasher film, so as the night goes on, uh, they have an interesting and creepy uh, experience with the Ouija board and uh, then her friends start getting knocked off one by one some other uh, characters. I love the pizza, pizza guy part. Loved it. Uh, the movie is very violent and bloody. Got some very good kills. I'm more about the story and I did think the story was good. I have a few minor things. Um, I felt like some of the dialogue between the the female actors, specifically the scenes on the couch, I thought they were good, but I felt like it needed more of a natural flow, and like I said, it's just a minor thing. Overall, maybe maybe it's not a big deal, you know. It's just something that I, I, I kind of remember having in my head at that point. But yeah, um, anyways, uh, it's a good movie. It's, uh, it's got some pretty, pretty interesting, uh, 
characters, uh, specifically uh, Mad Max's character who plays the neighbor. Really enjoyed seeing him in this. Uh, I am a wrestling fan. I'll be honest with you, I haven't seen any matches with him in it, but I will definitely look it up on the internet and check him out. So, the acting, good. I didn't really have any issues. Uh, I do wish the ending had a little bit more balance to it. Uh, as you guys know, I don't do spoilers. I felt like the ending, while it's been done before, it really fits this movie, so I don't have any issues with that. But I felt like a little balance was needed, and um, other than that, I can't. Those little minor things, I think this is a great film. I highly recommend it. I got it uh, on the Fuzzy Monkey uh, website, and I got, and I do suggest you guys check it out. Yes, it is worth my my money. It's worth every penny I paid for, including shipping. So, I recommend Def Board. Oh, almost forgot one little criticism. I do wish the Ouija board would have factored in a little bit more. Sorry for the last minute thing. I will see you guys on the next horror cookies.